2 Corinthians chapter 7 is written to the church there in Corinth. It's written, if you go back through 1 Corinthians and 2 Corinthians, you could see who the audience is that he's writing to. Who's he writing to? He's writing to Christians. He's writing to saints, right? We know that. We, we read through this and we see that. So, if he is writing to Christians, verse 10, for godly grief produces a repentance that leads to salvation without regret, that is not talking about justification. Because he's talking to Christians who've already been justified by what God did. Because of their belief in the name of Jesus Christ, God already justified them. The salvation they're talking about here in this verse that Paul's talking about is present tense. Why? Because worldly grief leads to death. So understanding this idea, this principle here of meta melomai is understanding godly grief, godly sorrow, and what that really looks like in the life of a Christian. And I've talked about this for, for, for many, many weeks. Is, folks, we've got to get to the place of just being broken about our sinfulness and understanding the forgiveness that we have in Jesus Christ. But knowing, too, that repentance is not a one-time event. Understanding repentance, yes, putting my faith in Jesus Christ, believing in His name for salvation justifies me because of what God has done in my life through the regeneration of the Holy Spirit. But I continue to repent because as I am broken, the closer that I get to Jesus, the more aware I am of my sinfulness. And that leads to such a godly sorrow so that I'm confronted in my sin. And I repent. And it says it leads to salvation. I need to understand that as a Christ follower. 